हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रेड विद एस एंड माई सेल्फ बाल आई हेयर आई एम वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल टू गेट मोर अपडेट एंड एट दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्कैनर और ब्रेकआउट वन और पोजिशनल और एंड्राइडी बहुत वी कैन यूज फॉर दिस ब्रेकआउट स्कैनर एंड आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रिएट विद रेंज ब्रेकआउट okay so comparing i'm i'm just comparing the two days range and uh, if any breakout that i am going to use and also i am going to plan for a volume also be a major important factor compared to the previous range and i am just going to calculate the today's range and based on that we are going to create a scanner on our charting and let me go to uh, type as scanner by using uh, like volume so i am going to use the volume factor so let me look at that comparatively a study so let me take a study about the stock forming a more than 1% study in today's range of that particular stock as that particular day on 16th february the range is less than a previous day range so that is what my first condition so the range of that particular stock should be very low compared to the previous day and also i am going to use the volume factor so you can see that volume on this day it's a big bull candle the day is around 3.6 million volume but next day it should be a very flat candle but 8.6 million volume so the volume is more than double but the range of the candle is very small compared to the previous day's day maybe high volume which is happening and also maybe forming a, a candle which forming a spinning top and then it broke above the level of 80 and it went up to 81 so maybe very low value stock that giving you so i am going to find out the stocks uh, which forming a such a pattern simply using our charting scanners so i have already having the scanners a uh, lot of scanners recently we done uh, cpr and now it's about a uh, stock for a breakout tomorrow so like that i am going to plan for that are the positive breakout or negative breakout stocks that i am going to find out here using this indicator so first of all what i'm going to do create a scanner and always focusing with future and option stocks let i add a future and option stocks and let me go for a range so range the latest range must be less than one day ago range range of the stock so it must be greater than one day ago so you can see lot of stock with a low value almost 79 stocks its range is very less than the previous day so let me study tata motor and nmdc i am going to take a tata motors and tata motors look at that previous day range it is very uh, slow uh, that is a minimum to comparative to previous range and then next day it is gap down so it doesn't give you opportunity but here uh, simply i am just finding out a range like uh, trend uh, acc lot of stocks let me go for a trend range is small comparatively compare comparing to previous day and this day i'm talking about this day and this one as a very narrow and daily time frame so this is what happening on tomorrow so even very uh, lower range compared to the previous day but what i'm going to focus i'm going to focus the volume factor if i'm using a volume condition that will filter out simply the latest to volume go for a latest to volume must be greater than volume of one day ago so simply the scanner will find out a breakout stocks for intraday or the best breakout stocks for intraday how to find out like a, a charting scanner so you can see almost only 10 stocks we filter out for tomorrow's range uh, like let me go for nmdc nmdc this is one for tomorrow we can track those one comparatively previous day today's range is lower than and also forming a shooting star and the volume so look at that volume previous year volume is 7.8856 million and now 7.97 so it is comparatively higher than the previous day but it is not an huge and volume is not an huge one so very um, minor changes in the volume yesterday it may be around 97.8 and today is a 7.9 it's not a big deal but it's a candle stick which forms at the shooting star maybe the reversal possibilities it's uh, it's there 
and we can track the stocks but what i'm going to do here even we are going to filter out very less number of stocks <coughs> by using a volume condition so what i'm going to simply go for the volume must be two times greater than the two times simply add the number two multiplied by the number two that will filter i think no stocks okay so we need to know the back test result to save the scan so breakout stocks for tomorrow so simply we are going to search the name okay so maybe i am going to save this with the name of uh, breakout stocks for tomorrow and uh, we'll run, run again we we don't get any stocks for today maybe uh, that means uh, tomorrow we don't get any stocks more than two times volume and we can see a lot of stocks we got it so maybe yesterday i think uh, 16th february i think two four six eight nine stocks so only quality quality stocks you can go for uh, let me go for a uh, uh, vipro or chamber fertilizer chamber fertilizer i'm just going to yes you can see previous day range is big and the next day range is very slow or a narrow the next day the breakout which is happening on a downside from 296 and it closed by 293 and look at that volume conditions what i'm exactly focusing for the volume compared to the previous day it's about volume is uh, around 684k and the next day is 2.3 so the volume is huge and the candle is very narrow and the breakout is highly possible that one is happening at that, that one is giving good profit and dlf sbi card let me randomly check sbi card and even we can uh, increase the volume in sbi card both the sides and looking at spinning top at this moment it breaks and it may be a stop loss kind of trade sbi card and even we can add uh, some more filters to filter out such a kind of thing dlf if we go for a dlf is there any opportunity it was not triggered by any of the sites comparatively high volume yesterday but doesn't give you a breakout but this level act as a 373 as well as 362 act as a good level for support and resistance maybe we can see and let me add uh, even more conditions and uh, range should be here also we can add number two See if any stocks, I think if you are using number two, so we got a lot of stocks. Okay, we don't want to use a number two point point. Ah, maybe very less number of stocks on uh, 9th February. Tell that is what 9th February we have torrent power. Let me go for a torrent power <coughs> 9th February yeah this one and a uh, previous range and the volume previous volume is uh, 260k 216 and 470 it's more than two percent and the body of the candle is very comparatively uh, less than previous one and this high should broke and the low should break our previous candle high and previous candle low should be a stop that may be working well so even you can increase the number of uh, probability by using so maybe this point uh, seven we don't any got many stocks here yeah. if you are using 0.7 so we got a lot of stocks and uh, let me go for this month uh, february 31st january sr we have a breakout for uh, we are waiting for tomorrow even we can modify it 31st january it should be this and this eye is broken and now it is moving positionally with the low as a stop loss okay hfc amc and you can modify whatever the uh, condition you want hfc amc 31st january and uh, in the first of the first of february is the budget right and maybe after budget we can go for uh, check this and uh, second february <coughs> hfc amc again idfc are then you so idfc is in second third february and this i is broken from 1811 and it went up to 1949 so looking good
So using this functions, we can easily filter out breakout stocks and uh, even not to require this one. So remove from that. This is good enough. And volume, if you are using a uh, three times volume also, we can check with that. And we have stocks, let's very small number of stocks. On 31st January, let me go for, I think, uh, Alkane and Grassy. Go for a Grassy, rather a breakout. 31st January. Here, sorry, here should be the 31st January compared to the previous year. The volume here, I think, volume is three times higher. That high is around 1620, and then it went up to 1660. But it was the next day, it should be a, uh, the day where budget is happening. Okay, so after budget, you can backtest it. I'm just going to give you the scanner which was working well, and even whatever the number you want, you can change it. Uh, and also range also you can reduce the range and if this should be a normal scanner which uh, will give you uh, find out a breakout one and you can also uh, go for opportunity uh, with a reversal candle or a, a uh, like a spinning top hammer if any forms maybe even better opportunity i can you can try this and uh, find out a, a back taste and let me know whether it is good or bad thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe thank you